everybody, and welcome to another episode of Craft of the Titans. As always, it's one of my favorite series, so I'm doing it a lot here recently. Last episode, we crashed, and when we crashed, we weren't able to do our video or complete it, and we didn't get to, like, finish killing out a cave. So this episode, we're gonna go in there, we're gonna beat those people up. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna bash them, we're gonna bash them in the head. Hopefully, we can fit it. I have no idea why these uh, these things are spawning, but they're, they really are, and they're being obnoxious. Uh, by the way, they can't hurt me as long as I'm in water. So, I uh, don't know why I kept getting out, uh, because uh, fire can't hurt you in Minecraft if you're in water. It just there. So, uh, I'm just gonna sit in the water and farm blazes, which they're not actually blazes, they're called cinders, because they're cindering! But, uh, yeah, if you guys do enjoy the video, you know you can like the video and share the video and stuff and whatnot, and really appreciate it, so thanks a lot! Um, there was something I was gonna do before this episode, but I, I kinda didn't do it, so I'm not gonna worry about it. What I am gonna do, though, is I'm gonna go over here to this death marker, and, uh, what I'm hoping happens is that it's in the right spot, and we can- Oh my god, what is this? This just got super interesting. Thanks to me fat fingering the keyboard. Uh, it appears that uh, this thing is, yeah. Um, you can sell buying a pet by crafting a soul stone and using it on your pet. Soul bound pets can be managed here where they can be summoned and dismissed and will even respawn after dying. Okay, I'm really being attacked now. Uh, it's by uh, an ogre, cool. Okay, just gonna go back to my base where it's safe. Okay, so what this is, I was looking at it, all right? So I have an index, it's whatever. Creatures, these are creatures that we have already seen before, okay? And we seem to know a little bit about them. I'm pretty sure the more that we explore and the more often we deal with them, the more we learn about them. So this is good to know. Don't really know a lot about them. Pets don't have any summoning. This is pretty cool, but I don't know how it works. Okay, so it looks like you can actually summon a lot of things. I don't know how to summon things, though, so that's not good. I'm curious as to what they do, though. Like, this is a lot of things, dude. Like, some of these are, like, massive. Some of these are bad to the bone. This behemoth, I think, is the strongest thing I've ever killed, and that's what it's saying with uh, your summoning focus and all that. I don't actually know how to summon, but I'm about to find out, because I'm about to just go to options, controls, and I'm gonna look up that, uh, that mod and see about summoning some creatures. I don't understand how it works, so this is really cool. This is really interesting, guys. It looks like we can, like, have a minion that'll do our bidding, but I don't understand how to how to actually get it to be here. Okay, so, guys, I got this stone, and this is called a soul glazer. Nothing to do with our quest that I know of, uh, but it was really cheap to make. Uh, let me show you real quick, show you guys how you make it. Uh, it's just diamonds, bones, di or, and gold, but this is needed to summon something. So all I have to do, uh, according to this, is use on a creature to add it to your beastary, whatever. So what I want to do, we know the strongest creature that uh, that's in our beast beast book right now, and it is the uh, the demon thing in the Nether. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go there, and I would love to have him as a bodyguard. And oh, okay, Pinky's pretty bad too, though. But I don't think I've actually killed Pinky. Okay, so I'm looking for uh, for a giant uh, a giant uh, not a giant a giant is not the correct term. I'm looking for a real okay. There he is. That's the one I need right there. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh, God! You already have knowledge, strength two of the. Cool. Okay, I'm not impressed anymore. I'm not gonna lie. It said I already had knowledge of it. No crap. I already knew I had knowledge of it. What I don't know is how to summon it. So that would have been a great little piece of information if you'd have told me how to summon it. Anyway, uh, we're gonna head back to base now. Actually, let me get my stuff back, and then uh, then we're gonna head back to base and uh, figure this out. I'm gonna have me. I'm gonna get a baby demon. I'm getting a baby demon today. Okay, guys, so uh, it took me a little while. You may notice I'm relaxed a little bit. I was feeling a little dizzy. So I'm going to lean back a little bit today because I got a, a near infection. So this is a summoning staff, guys. I've built it. I haven't used it yet. But after you put it on your bar, I do have like six of these things. I don't actually know how to use this, all right? But I do know that I've set it up so if I push five, that it pulls up, or sorry, divide, it pulls up this thing. Now... Again, I'm not sure how it works. I don't actually know how this thing works. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon this guy and see what happens. So, let's see what happens. Also, I don't know what happened there. That would probably... Yeah, no clue. Actually, I'm, yeah, let's summon him. I'm going to see if it works. Okay, so somehow, I, I just assume you right-click it or something. Okay, holding right-click and boom. Okay, so I now have a the behemoth. Uh, does this thing recharge? Like, how do I get this thing to recharge? Okay, it just naturally recharges. He's got 327 life. 
or 163 hearts. He ain't playing no games. I am about to go to the other to the to the dungeon place. Uh, I'm just gonna say it. I'm I'm I, I am re like legit about to go to the uh, the summoning place or the that place, and we are gonna we are gonna wreck face, dude, because I've got a new a new minion thing, and we're gonna we're gonna break things. It's about to happen. I have no idea where he went. I don't know where he went. He's gone. He did. Is he like? Is there like a time limit on it? Like. Okay, it's a last thing. They don't last forever. Oh, okay. Good to know. I feel like this is going to be the better option because I can get my health back extremely fast. I don't need this. Uh, you know, I'm going to go on and make this. All I need is some bones, redstone, and nether warts, and I got it all. Okay, so I made the blood staff. Uh, I wasn't able to use this one, so I have two of them. I don't know how that's going to affect the whole thing, but uh, I've got two staffs now. We're going to head over to that place, uh, and we are going to uh, see about, you know, see a man about a dog. So, I'm going to just summon uh, my little buddy out, and this should do it. And boom shakalaka. Oh, God. I didn't think this through. Okay, go. Get him. Get him. Okay. Uh, this guy uh, is not doing anything. I think he's on, like, sit-down mode or something, because he ain't, he ain't actually doing nothing. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, let me check and see if he's, like, on a... Okay, he's on defensive. I want him on assist mode. Okay, he's now going to uh, assist me in my in my in my stuff. Hopefully, okay. There's two of them. I don't know why they're not out yet, but they're they're not doing anything. I'm about to. You know what? Screw this. We're going aggressive. We're going aggressive. Okay, boys. Uh, I'm gonna need you all aggressive now. Let's do this. Come on. Okay. Come on. Um. Not really sure what the boys were doing there, but they're. Uh, I've got at least three of them out, and they're not. Okay. Okay. I think the fire is actually damaging. Yeah, the, their fire damages me. Okay. Uh, this is not good. Wasn't expecting that. And I'm pretty sure they're summoning other. Why are you guys not fighting? What? Like, look, they're not. They're not fighting. They're spawning other. Like, there's there's like at least six of them down here now, and I'm not seeing anybody spawning. I, I don't know what. The, I don't know what's going on, dude. I don't know what's going on. They're not doing anything. They're being douchebags. I, maybe I shouldn't have got the big uh, the big demon the hell demons out. Hey guys, okay, so that sucked, and that sucked, and that sucked, and then we crashed, so I'm not even gonna talk about how bad that sucked, but it sucked, okay? All I know is this, this is all I know, okay? Uh, what, what, what I'm thinking right now is I'm gonna nuke that place. I'm not, I'm not even gonna go back, because even Big Tommy is what I'm calling the, the Minotaur that we summoned. I think he's a Minotaur, or he's Hellboy, I don't know which one. Uh, we're gonna go back and we're gonna nuke it. I'm not gonna even nuke it right now, but I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna nuke it, because it's gonna, it deserves to be nuked. Now, as for quest, I need to do something, and I'm feeling real questy right now, okay? I'm not gonna do the rest of this one. I'm gonna do that off camera, that off camera, that off camera. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with that. Actually, I could mess with this because I got some sweet, uh, some sweet snaps, and I didn't even call them out last time. So I'm gonna pull this up, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna snap the. I'm gonna read some of the snaps so I can tell show you guys how it works. It's gonna be great. So just give me a second. Okay, so this is from Ashton Beeler said uh, the fuel input is a machine which is able to fill the, any burning items into the smeltery by filling items into the smeltery. Uh, we can make it burn hotter and faster. So I, I get that. He also says that I can put it anywhere on the smeltery. So I'm kind of hoping that he's right because if he's not, I'm going to be really sad. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so I have the two items. I did have the wrong item, by the way, because I just got credit for it when I made the other one. So I'm going to claim that. And we'll worry about that in a minute. Okay, so what we got to do now is I'm going to break this. This doesn't go anywhere. So I'm going to break this block and I'm going to break this block. All right, this here, this is the smart input machine, uh, and this here is the smart output. I don't know what the output does. Uh, the output doesn't seem to do anything, so I'm not going to put that one on there. This one, I'm hoping. Okay, this one did do something. I'm not sure. Okay, we've raised the temperature by a 1,000 degrees. I think that's a good thing. I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know what this slot right here is. If you guys figure that out, you can let me know, but I definitely don't know what that is. The output, I don't, I don't really know what the output is either. It doesn't matter. I'm done with that part of the quest. We can move on. Next thing it says is solid fuel. Thus, fuel for your fuel input machine can be made using fairly common ingredients, though they may prove to be a tad more challenging to gather than a bucket of lava. The payoff in speed and longevity is well worth it. Okay, so we need to make some solid fuel. Let's see what we need for solid fuel. I'm thinking I'm going to need poop. Why? Because if I had a solid fuel, I'd call it poop. Coal, gunpowder, and aluminum. Coal, gunpowder, and aluminum, which are not hard materials to get our hands on. Coal, and I already have the coal because I was already messing with it. All right, so coal and aluminum and some other crap all right so let me put all this stuff up real quick i need the bag back that back i just gotta make sure i got my stuff i'll bring my steve things and the coal so all we need is some gunpowder the gunpowder coal and now i just gotta grab some aluminum this thing is not as good as an me system but uh it does have its uh it's the endearing qualities so um i do have a pulverizer um so i'm thinking i'm gonna pulverize uh, the aluminum so it doesn't mix with anything inside of the smeltery 
Okay, as I said, I don't know what salad fuel makes, all right? I don't know. I don't, I've never used it. All I know is we're going to get some crawfish at you, an elevator out of it, and we're going to keep going. Remember, this is to make better weapons. These weapons are awesome. We need the weapons to defend ourselves from the evil creatures. That's all I'm saying. There's a lot of creatures here, and they're after us. They're wanting us. They want our booty hole, like groceries. All right, that should be enough, I think. So let me see. So I click solid fuel, look for it. Boom, that's 32. All right, got solid fuel. Now, here's the cool thing. I can now put the solid fuel in the fuel tank and see if it works. I remember, I don't know how to use the output. The output isn't connecting right. I don't know if you got to, like, connect it to something or what you got to do to the smart output. Now, the coal is gone. No, I took the coal out. So this stuff should go in and... Okay, it's still not exactly working. This is a speed upgrade. Why can I not put the speed upgrade? You guys saw that, right? This says it is a speed upgrade. Okay, I want to put the speed upgrade in here. Nope. It's like, nope, nope, nope. All right, well, that's in there. And uh, this thing is like at max power now. We're burning at, uh, we're burning at 1,000 extra degrees, 1,300 extra degrees. I don't know what exactly that means, but this thing is going to slowly lead us to where we want to be. Next thing we need to do, blank thing. This all poop. This is all just basic stuff, dude. So I'm going to do the basic stuff, and we're going to just not worry about it. This is a door factory. Uh, part of a good base defense is securing your entrances and exits. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? This is what we're going to do. This, dude, We're going to build a force field next episode, but I'm going to wrap it up here, okay? The reason I'm going to do that, guys, is because the next episode is going to be a lot of more building and a lot less of the other crap, like going around and killing stuff. I'm going to secure our island because our island is, uh, you know, we're out here. It's pretty good. It's pretty defended, but I want to get it working uh, at maximum capacity. So I'm going to come back next episode, and we're going to go out and force, and we're really going to try to uh, get the base under control make it look real fly. So this is what I want to say. I got to send, you know, you guys know me. I want you guys to uh, like, share, and subscribe the video uh if you have any advice on what you would like me to focus on quest wise in the first four or five quests leave me a comment leave something on snapchat you guys know i'd be giving snapchat shout outs nowadays like they're going out of style so feel free to throw those at me and uh thank you guys for being awesome and supporting me and always just loving me